Hi, God bless you. Welcome to Truth in Brief. And we are still on questions in scripture. You know, there are as many as 3,300. And I don't think we will even exhaust them uh, in Truth in Brief. But let's make some progress. And today's own is amazing. It's found in Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 37. It says, Who is it that says, and it comes to pass, when the Lord has not commanded it. Who is it that says and it comes to pass when the Almighty God has not commanded it? The NIV said, who can speak and have it happen if the Lord has not decreed it? Who is the person? You see, it's important that you understand the import of this scripture. What it is saying is that it is God that has the final say. Anybody can say anything, but the question is, do you have the wherewithal to implement what you just said? When you read the story, when the children of Israel were celebrating their deliverance from Egypt and they were singing, one of the things they stated in the book of Exodus, they said, the enemy said, the enemy said, I will pursue them. I believe this is Exodus 15. He say, I will pursue them. I will overtake them. My anger will consume them. The enemy said a whole lot of things, but God blew with his wind and the enemy ended up in the sea. Who is it that can say and have it happen when the Almighty God has not commanded it? You see, when you come to a conviction of the truth of what I'm sharing with you, the only thing you want to find out is what did God say? What did God say about my situation? What did God say about my crisis, my Goliath, about my challenge? What did God say about the threats and the things that are flying around? What did God say? What did God say concerning the pandemic, concerning my healing? Because that is the one that will come to pass. But for that to happen, we will have to believe what God says. I want you to know that it is God that has the final say. The boss in the office is a human being. The people that are threatening you, the issues of life, the nations of the earth that have different opinions, all that they are saying are things they are saying. And they are entitled to their opinion. But the question is, who is going to have his way? It is the almighty God, the ruler of the nations of the earth. It is his counsel that we stand. When you read Psalm 2, the nations we are raging, but God said, I have set my king on the holy hill of Zion. You see, why this is like this is because he is the Alpha and the Omega. Alpha means he's the beginning. Omega means he's the end. And everything in between is under his control because all of them originated from him. So as the Alpha, he has the first word. He has the Alpha word. But you see, as the Omega, he also has the Omega word, which is the final word on any matter. Look, concerning your health, concerning the different things of life, the question the Bible is asking is, who is it that can say something? Concerning the opinions of people and the nations and the things that are facing you, who is it that can say, and it will come to pass, when the Almighty God has not decreed it? This question will bring faith inside your spirit. It will produce confidence and it will give you boldness. Because you know that the one that will come to pass is the one that God said. I pray that faith will rise in your spirit so that every threat, let's pray now, every satanic threat against your spirit, your soul, your body, your family, your ministry, and all that concerns you, all of them will be swallowed by the word of God in the name of Jesus. The word of God will swallow every other word concerning you and concerning all that concerns you, concerning the church of Jesus Christ and concerning the purpose of God in our generation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Do you know that words can swallow words? The word of God has the capacity to swallow every other word. And for those that believe that word, the one that will come to pass is the one that God said. And I pray that you will trust him and receive this message into your spirit today. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye.